Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rider Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Hemingway Accoutrements and this one is called Signature Collection. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Signature Collection by Hemingway Accoutrements, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. So this is a fragrance that I actually acquired a few months ago, to be honest with you. But at the time when I acquired it, I found that it didn't really sync up with the season. And that's because it was a little bit warmer outside. But when you look at the note breakdown, you have bourbon, you have honey, you have amber, tobacco, vanilla, spices, all warm notes. So I said, this is going to be a complete banger in the colder weather in the winter time. And thus we are in January of 2021. It's quite cold outside. And I do truly feel as though this is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. If you are a fan of boozy, spicy, vanilla, sort of tobacco, cigar types of fragrances, I have a feeling you're really going to enjoy this one. I know this one goes for $69.99. I'm not not sure if the company is running promotions or if they do run promotions, but I am going to leave a link down below to where you can check it out if this fragrance does sound appealing to you and if you see yourself liking this one based off of how I describe it. In any case, I'm really excited to talk to you about the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. So the box for this fragrance is very unique, albeit a little plain. It just opens up like this to reveal a bedding of cardboard in which the bottle rests. A very nice presentation but again, quite simple. And the bottle for this fragrance is also very nice. It just has the name of the fragrance here on the front, the name of the company, and this is Eau de Parfum Concentration. The bottom of your bottle has your UPC and all of the other information that's necessary. And the distribution on the atomizer, incredibly wide, spits out a lot of juice as well. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get this boozy richness and it is listed as bourbon in the note breakdown. So you're going to get this spicy bourbon note in the opening. And I find that that alcoholic presence, if you will, is really bright and it's really mysterious, dark, masculine, yet powerful at the same time. It's interesting because whenever I think of fragrances that give off a similar vibe, any number of Killian fragrances come to mind. I'm also reminded of either Pure Malt or Pure Havan by Teddy Mugler. But despite the fact that I'm comparing it to all of these other fragrances, even Idole de Lubon, this one stands out. And there's just something about this one where it does have a level of uniqueness to it that I really do like and I really do appreciate. But at the same time, there's an element of familiarity in here. And I think that that sort of goes along with the fact that it's so easy to wear. Nothing about this fragrance really pushes any envelopes. It's not overly strong or heavy handed in any area, if you will. Even when it comes to its use of the tobacco leaf, I find that the Tom Ford variant Tobacco Vanille, that one it has a much stronger use of tobacco. This one, on the other hand, it's not as heavy handed. So in the opening, the fragrance opens up with that boozy presence. You're going to get the bourbon in combination with the spice. I think that the perfumer's alcohol has a lot to do with it. And I find that that sort of influences that boozy ness in the opening, if you will. But the spices really do go hand in hand. And I think it takes it in a very interesting direction. As the fragrance starts to settle down, I think you're going to get more of this honey tobacco thing going on in there. But again, doesn't smell like any other fragrance that I've tried. It definitely does have a level of uniqueness to it. And then I think while that's secondary, tertiary to that would be the amber accord in the base. So it opens up with a boozy richness and then you have this aromatic mid down to an ambery base, which I think is a really nice sort of trifecta, if you will, and a really nice progression and steady evolution of the fragrance. Now, no 
aspect of this fragrance contradicts another part of this fragrance. So what I mean to say by that is you don't have any notes in here that seem as though they would conflict with one another. So you don't have like a very bright and citrusy opening with a warm and ambery base. You don't have a clean white floral, you know, heart or expression in the mid with like a skanky animalic thing in the base. That's not what's going on in here. It really seems as though all of the ingredients in this formula were made to be together and they just click quite effortlessly. And so if you are looking for, in my opinion, an excellent fragrance for the winter time, for something that will really carry you through that cold month or the cold months, depending on where you live, I think you will really enjoy Signature Collection by Hemingway Accoutrements. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, despite the fact that I know a lot of other fragrances that utilize similar notes to this one, this one still does smell unique to me, and I can't quite pin it back down or compare it to any one fragrance that I've tried before. So I always appreciate a formula that is not reductive or derivative, and I don't think that that's happening here. I do find this one to be very unique. The overall smell is very pleasant. However, if you are somebody who has a proclivity for bright, fresh, you know, oceanic citrusy fragrances, this is probably not going to be your style. So don't blind buy, make sure you sample it if you can. And then if you like the way that it smells based off the sample or the decant, then definitely commit to that full bottle purchase. But awesome for the colder weather, very unique. In terms of the longevity, I got about eight hours on my skin with this one. The projection was great for the first hour and a half to two hours. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that six to six and a half hour mark. So performance is very good, no qualms there. Versatility is compromised a little bit. I wouldn't wear this one in the hotter weather. And like I said to you before in this review, I acquired this when it was a little bit warmer outside. So I had to wait a few months until I wore it. But now that it's finally cold outside, this is the time to bring it out and I am thoroughly enjoying it for sure. Also in the vein of like an avant-garde by Lanvin. So if you're familiar with that fragrance, you're also gonna get something similar here. And I find it to be perfectly unisex, although some people would say that that tobacco-y thing might make it lean a little bit more masculine, but again, these are just recommendations. Wear what you like, wear what makes you happy. And then the presentation on this one is also really nice. I definitely like the wooden box for this one too. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you are in the market for something that is dark, rich, utilizing nuances of honey, tobacco, amber, bourbon, spices, vanilla, leather, Something tells me you're really going to enjoy this fragrance. And so I would urge you to, at the very least, get a sample of this one, see if it's to your liking. Fragrances are subjective, and so there's a chance you'll love it. There's a chance that you'll pass on it and you might end up purchasing something else. But nevertheless, if you are interested in at least discovering this fragrance a little further, I'm gonna leave all the information down below to where you can check it out. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership. That was my review of Signature Collection by Hemingway Accoutrements. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And of course, that includes top tens, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and a whole lot more. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.